What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Phil. I'm with my lovely co-host, Samantha. Where else would I want to be than with Samantha, with you guys, and checking out some Joe Cocker. Yeah, we got Joe Cocker with a little help from my friends. That's right. 1990, 1999, definitely not. 1969 <laughs> Woodstock performance. We've done one song from Joe Cocker, and that was You Are So Beautiful. Live performance as well. It was fantastic. Yeah, that was awesome. Now, we also, um, I have a little bit of background on the original from this, from the Beatles, um, with a little help from my friends, and um, I believe I've heard that before. I don't know if you've heard it before, but um, it's uh, not what I'm expecting from Joe Cocker version we'll put it that way yeah i think i just heard it once the original has like an upbeat happy vibe right yeah it's yeah it's i think i've heard it once or twice vibrant like some of the other beatles yes. songs that we've done and speaking of with a little help from my friends if you need a little help with your sleep phil has been loving his mantis sleep mask just like i have sam is wearing it all the time i'm wearing mine all the time i've got the bluetooth mantis sleep mask and it's fantastic guys the mask I have on is Manta Sleep Mask Sound. It's the most comfortable Bluetooth sleep mask in existence. The Bluetooth battery life is two times the competition at 20 hours of usage time. The design offers true 100% blackout with zero eye pressure for deep sleep. The materials allow for airflow and ventilation, making it great for all environments. It has C-shaped eye cups that allow for side sleeping comfort. Its state-of-the-art technology offers razor-thin Bluetooth headphones. You can see the convenient tabs for smooth speaker adjustment. And lastly, the charging is made easy through a USB connection. And Mantis Sleep has given us a discount code that'll be linked down below in the description and the pinned comment. If you want your Mantis Sleep mask, go get it. All right, guys, let's get into some Joe Cocker with a little help from my friends. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we're gonna leave you uh, with uh, the usual thing. The only thing I can say, as I've said to many people, is this title uh, just about uh, puts it all into focus. It's called With a Little Help from My Friends. Remember it. Looking like 1969 with that outfit. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Let me your ears and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. Yeah. Oh, baby, I'll be back.
so much soul coming through on this one. It's bringing the passion. Passion with the vocal. Got this blues vibe to it. Yeah. So vastly different than the Beatles version that I know of. I mean, it's just remarkable. It sounds like a completely different song. I know. I feel like the Beatles sound more like sunshine and rainbows. And he's more of like just raw, gritty yeah, passion it, and soul. It's pretty crazy to think that this could be a Beatles song originally I know, written by. But I think that's the beauty when people do covers or, you know, take songs and make them their own. Like, I almost like when they completely change it because it, it makes it their own version of it, right? Instead of just doing the exact same thing. And that's probably why this version is so renowned is because he took a song that meant something and sounded a certain way and made it mean something completely different yeah. and sound and feel a completely different way. And apologies if you can hear any of the construction going on in the background. Somebody's just, just drilling keeps going away. And going and going and going. Please stop. Thank you. <laughs> so we have really, really enjoyed this one, I believe, so far from yeah, Joe. Yeah, it's been awesome. But it's been so vastly different, like I was saying. I was not expecting this at all, but I really didn't know what to expect based on what we had heard from the first one from Joe. Yeah. That it was just so passionate and soulful and evocative with his, his performance. Yeah. And that's what's coming through on this one again, but I just did not yeah. expect it. I feel like that's just his style now after seeing this. Yeah. it's um, The only thing I would say is a little bit disappointing is the quality of this and i'm a sound engineering guy you know so i really love a strong mix and all that and you know obviously this is from 1969 a concert version clearly but i like i've had to bring up the volume so many yeah. times and it's still like I, i'm not getting as much of joe as i want in my, in yeah, my yeah, head you're right like, now. Just get in my ear. yeah so i don't know maybe this is this was an impactful performance and that's why yeah. you know it's got uh, so much notoriety but um I wonder what the studio version sounds like. Of oh, this. probably amazing. Yeah, really, really fantastic. Anyways, let's get back into the performance from Joe. You ready? Ready. Would you be in a love at first sight? I'm certain it happens all the time. You know I love. What do you see when you turn? I don't see nothing, but it's just My goodness. What is happening right now? Tell him, Joe. I gotta get my friend. I gotta get my friend to love. Don't you know I'm standing for your life? You know, it's crazy. Every time he's singing, I feel like he's gonna like lose his voice. I know. <laughs> you know, because he's like getting so gritty, yeah, raspy, and, and raspy. raw. I'm like yeah. you're about to lose your voice, and it just keeps going and going. He keeps coming back in stronger and stronger. I know. It's so wild. His it's the vocals. sound of his voice. Yeah. I gotta get my friends together. But all we gotta do is love. <laughs> I'm gonna take them home with me now. You gotta get all your friends. You got your friend. You got your 
Much energy. The greatest band and myself. Thank you all much indeed. See you again. Beautiful. That's a good way to close out your show right there. Leave it all on the stage. think you deserve the drink there buddy he had a lot of energy expelled there yeah he was working during that performance sweaty now that would have been such a great performance i feel like to see live you know really would have probably accentuated the passion and the performance that he gave i feel like being there would have just given you goosebumps throughout the whole performance i mean i was just blown away by the ability for him to keep going i know just keep going with this passion it's different if it was like a minute it was like literally eight minutes of just yeah non-stop unleashing the energy yeah that was wild crazy no he killed it he did awesome and like i said when we paused it i think it's so cool when people take a song and then put their complete own spin to make it unique to them and fit their style Mm -hmm. yeah well hopefully you guys enjoyed his version i'm sure you did um we haven't done the beatles version on the channel but uh, if you guys do want us to check that one out as well uh, we can do a reaction to that one won't be a first time listen for me and i don't think uh, it would be a first time for you but definitely not that familiar I'm with it i'm all familiar familiar with it i think i just like have heard i might have passing. played it yeah. one time before i think yeah. for you so anyways guys um let us know what you want to see next let us know if there's something else from joe let us know if you love this version from him if you Give prefer the beatles that. one if you like both in different capacities because they're so different <laughs> we always appreciate your insights but make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button the notification bell and come back tomorrow when we drop two videos thanks for watching guys we'll see you then